going on? We're back again with another car, another alignment. Today we're gonna be aligning a 2005 TC Scion. And I already checked the tire pressure because it's always important to check it. And right now I'm gonna put those sensors in those tires in three, two, one. All right, now that we have four sensors on the wheels, it's time to do our compensation procedure. And that means we're gonna roll the vehicle back and forward. Put a chuck like this. And we roll our wheel 45 degrees back. We wait for the green light. Boom, ready. Now we align our plates. Good. Good. And now we go forward. We check our level. We need a little bit more. There we go. We wait for the light. Boom, ready. Now, the, the next step is take off these pins. Don't forget to turn the other. And now we're gonna measure our caster. Hit OK. Get our wheel lock. This one. Stepper. Now, handbrake, neutral, brake, and turn off. Now, we turn our wheels. Left. Good. Now we center our wheel as much straight as possible. And we we'll put our lock. And it looks pretty center for me. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Really, really bad. Back is fine. Oof. Okay, we see our camber are too positive. As well as the toe. Okay, we save our measurements. Pretty safe, man. Now, yes. how do you fix this? Camber, toe is easy. But how do you fix camber? Okay, if you don't know how to fix it, this machine has a feature that illustrates the adjustments for you on the back. It has adjustable camber, but it's fine. We're not gonna adjust it right now. As well as tow, we're not gonna fix it either, because it's fine. But if we go to the front, that's camber. It says it's not adjustable. Most of the compact cars are not adjustable, but um, the camber is 100% adjustable. This And the way to adjust it is on the strut by losing the nuts here, you can adjust it or you can install a, a kit, it has like a little oval on the on the screw 
and it makes the strut turn like this but in this case I'm just gonna lose the nut a little bit and by, um, and by the weight of the car is gonna go negative by itself so watch closely I'm gonna get my my gun and I'm gonna lose the, the nuts on the uh, on the strut and I'll show you how it's gonna change a lot we start first on the one that has more more tolerance so we're gonna start with this one and hopefully we can make it all the way here if if it's not possible then uh, we're gonna have to take more more other measurements if it if it doesn't make it we're gonna um, try to make it more adjustable with something somehow but I'll go and fix this first and as you can see that's the strut it has the nuts right there and I think I'm gonna use uh, I'm not sure but I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a 21 millimeter to lose it up. I'm gonna get my gun and I'll start working on it. to the next one. We need to get a little bit more close to the other. And here we go. This is the bottom one first. Top one. Watch watch close. How the tire goes inward. Next step is to adjust the toe. And to adjust it, you have this little bar here. Uh, we're gonna need probably a 19 and a 14 millimeters to lose this. And then we can turn the inner tire up and make our tire go out or in. And probably we're gonna need our tire to go in a little bit. I'm gonna get my tools. Get our 14. You know, I lie. It's gonna be a nice 16. Get it nice 16. Okay, and there we go. That's all to we need. Gonna move the jack. And we're gonna lose this. It goes forward and it's loose. It turns. We need the wheel to go in. Oh, okay. It's going in. You can see how it's changing over there. And we got it green. Good. We really tight. tighten this a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Look. And we're going to the next side. This one is the opposite. Instead of going forward to loose, we're gonna go front. And there we go. Check the tire. It goes, it goes. There we go. I retight this. Done. 
as you can see, we have our measurements. This one is a little bit off, but I'll see what can I do in a little bit. Okay, next step is re-measure cursor. Get ready. Boom, ready. We get in the vehicle again. Neutral. Clutch in. Left. Right. Okay, and we're gonna adjust this a little bit more. It's always, it's always good to make a double check. It's a little bit hard doing this with just one hand, so just be a little bit patient with me. It's just hard to do it with just one hand. I'm used to doing it with two, but making this video for you, you can learn how you can adjust this. I'm just doing it with one hand, one hand. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this side. I just noticed that this car has a camper kit installed in. Remember the, the bolts I was telling you about? This car does have those bolts. Okay, hope you guys like the video. This is how you align a 2005 Scion TC. Please subscribe or dislike if you didn't like this video. But subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.